this is the liquid cell and this is the liquid cell's base so what we need to do is first of all we need to fill the sample liquid in this liquid cell so we are going to open it fill this with liquid i am putting water in it Now tighten this screw. Now connect the RF cable. This is the RF cable. Now keep the this knob adjust approximately middle. and set the gain so that this micrometer reading is in between the scale so now we need to find the minimum and maximum positions and lambda by 2 is the difference of minima and maxima so now rotate this let's start with zero and now how to take the reading is first look for maxima so now we are going to rotate it this is the maxima now take the reading from here this is 5 6 7 7 into 0.01 now for the minima into it this is minima Forty, forty-one, forty-two. Zero point zero one, forty-two. Next, again, search for maxima. Maxima is coming at forty-four. Zero point zero one to forty four. Now, again search for minima. Twenty nine plus fifty. Zero point zero one. Two seventy nine. Again, find maxima. Zero point zero one and two. Two. And again, minima. Now oh, this is sixteen one mm one point six zero point zero one two and one six. Now zero zero point three four mm. So average is zero point. 
3, 5. So now putting these values in B. B is equals to lambda. This is lambda by 2. B is equals to lambda that is 0 0.7 to megahertz. This is in mm. Convert this. So for water, the velocity of ultrasonics in water liquids is 1400 meter per second. So you can put different liquids and find out the velocity of ultrasonics in liquids.